like interactive and hands-on and uh, you get to wear a like special suit for it. You have to like unscrew and rescrew jars and you have to try not to spill anything. to stick the syringe in there and then it would like some of the stuff would come out and then you had to like move it over to your partner and then you would say it's ready or whatever and yeah. Why do we do STEM night? So there are a couple different reasons. One of them is to create an event that uh, the entire Jefferson Middle School community can uh, attend. And the other reason is the concept of STEM and expanding all of this different kind of new technology and experiences to all sorts of kids who might not ever have a chance to uh, see it, experience it, uh, or even know that it's out there. So by having it at the school in a place that they all know and love and that they're comfortable with means that they can possibly see something that helps them um, stay motivated and be interested in something as they progress towards school. I just love seeing all the kids get excited, in particular to me, the little ones in the glove box over here. If you've got a view, that was amazing. We never thought Tyvek could be that fun. We had an NMCNA station here where they talked about enrichment, um, practiced applying some TIDs, did a few uh, weighings. Play in the sand for the How to Find Thorium. Adam and Josh and Catherine deserve, uh, they've been really working. Been very busy. So we had a, a RADCON station where they got to learn about that, and then they got to practice moving things around in a glove box. They're pretty excited. I've seen um, toddlers uh, playing with the robots. I've seen uh, elementary school kids doing their flight simulators and putting their hands into the, um, I guess, radioactive testing type stuff. Um, and I've seen the eighth graders running around with their friends and uh, having a great time. So pretty excited about seeing all the kids smiling and saying hi to the teachers also.